World of Dentistry. Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs. Dental Bone Graft Infection. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about dental bone grafts and infection and everything you need to know about it. If you are considering a bone regeneration surgery or dental bone graft, it is important to know that it is a common procedure, but it also has its risks, such as the risk of infection. The most common causes of infection in a dental bone graft are the use of infected material, contaminated surgical instruments, incorrect surgical technique, uncontrolled previous periodontal disease, and poor postoperative care. It is important to follow all the specialist's instructions to reduce the risk of infection, including a good postoperative oral care routine. If you experience stabbing pain that radiates to other parts of the mouth, swelling and bleeding gums, pus, sinusitis, dental sensitivity, persistent bad taste in the mouth, bad breath, fever or an increase in body temperature, or persistent and painful palpitations in the area of the bone graft that last more than a few days, you should consult a dentist. The diagnosis and treatment of an infection in a dental bone graft will depend on the severity of the infection. In some cases, it can be treated with antibiotics, but in more severe cases, surgery may be necessary to clean the infected area. Prevention of infection in a dental bone graft. Prevention is the best way to avoid complications associated with infection in a dental bone graft. Here are some measures that can help prevent infection. Maintain good oral hygiene before and after surgery. Brushing your teeth twice a day and using dental floss daily can help prevent infection. Follow the dentist's instructions. After surgery, the dentist may give you some instructions to follow at home, such as avoiding hard foods, using specific mouthwash, etc. It is important to follow these instructions to prevent infection. Choose an experienced dentist. Ensuring that the dentist has the proper training and experience in bone regeneration surgery is essential to prevent infection. Avoid smoking. Smoking reduces blood circulation in the mouth and delays healing after surgery. Therefore, it is important to avoid smoking to prevent infection. Exposure of regeneration material and loss of dental bone graft. Other complications associated with bone regeneration surgery include exposure of regeneration material and loss of dental bone graft. Exposure of regeneration material refers to when the bone graft material is exposed in the mouth due to not being properly covered with soft tissue or because the bone has not grown adequately to cover it. Exposure of regeneration material can lead to infection and other problems. Loss of dental bone graft can occur when the bone does not integrate properly with the bone graft, which can cause a failure in bone regeneration and the need for another surgery. Allergic reaction to dental bone graft. Allergic reaction to dental bone graft is rare but can occur. Symptoms include inflammation, redness, itching, and pain. If you have an allergic reaction to the dental bone graft, you should contact your dentist immediately. Remember that prevention is key to avoiding complications in dental bone graft surgery. Follow all the specialist's instructions and maintain a good oral care routine. If you experience any symptoms of infection, consult a dentist immediately. Bone regeneration surgery can be an option for those who need a dental bone graft to place a dental implant. While it is a safe procedure with a high probability of success, there are associated risks, such as infection, exposure of regeneration material, loss of dental bone graft, and allergic reaction to the dental bone graft. It is important to follow all the dentist's instructions before and after surgery and pay attention to signs and symptoms of complications to obtain proper treatment. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.